Good morning. Uh, Marshand, but uh, also mushrooms. This is a big one. Look at the tree it's eating. It's a bloody big one. Uh, I believe that this is uh, called a pine killer, but it could also be the Grote Weerschijnswang, and I have no English translation. Uh, this is uh, a very old one. They come up every year, or sometimes skip a year. But <clears throat> and I put my glasses on there, so you can see the size. This is at least 40 centimeters. They live on roots, and they just steal from the tree. Really, really beautiful mushroom, absolutely. Oh, let me see if I can get here. No, that's too bad. But yay, beautiful, beautiful big mushroom. One of the larger ones, not the largest, but we'll come to that eventually someday yeah it's not on route at the moment i'm looking for sphagnum here's a smaller one i see this is a young one and it's uh, a bit of a bad place because there's a trail and here's a trail uh i'm almost at the spot i want to be you can see there's a, a bit of a depression and there the terrain goes up again so this is a water trap and behind that wall it dips again so let's see if I can find anything let's hide the bike first okay there is the water trap um, the last video I did outside, the mushroom video, I showed you that little piece. And, well, yeah, you can see it's a ditch. So now I'm... Uh, I already know that this is old sphagnum, but it's not enough to harvest, so... This is young sphagnum, and if I take that, I will need double or triple what I would have used if it was uh, that size. So I'm not going to touch this. And hope I keep dry feet because this is rather sketchy terrain. Oh yeah, there's some old mixed with some new. Uh, I'm gonna take you a, a yeah, other camera point. Okay, that's better. Um, there's a lot more growing here. And again, this is young stuff. Not gonna touch it. Uh, Here's some old and some new stuff mixed. And here, oh, this is soft terrain, guys. Ooh, a little itty bitty frog. Yeah, this is the good stuff, guys. But again, it's a tiny bit. Well, we're gonna scout a little bit further up ahead. It's nice and quiet. It's uh, just past eight o'clock. Oh yeah, I can get some bit here. Yeah, just a little bit. 
yeah, it's quiet and it's Sunday morning. So I'm not going to make the mistake of doing this on a Sunday afternoon. Because it will be pretty weather today. And we had tons and tons of rain last few days. Which is good for nature. But I could do it a little less. Oh yeah, wow. Well, I'm afraid this is oh this is also a long strand. And I'm not too worried about the acidity because uh well yeah I dry it and when it's used uh, it usually gets flushed so okay I'm gonna get us some on the way back. This is also old. And the ditch makes a bend in a little bit. Oh yeah, look at this. It's all all old swagnum. Have to take care of a step. Oh. Oh yeah. <coughs> And I haven't collected here before, so uh, oh yeah, look at this. <coughs> and there's a deer trail running through it. Oh, here's even more. Here comes the sun, not by Van Morrison, sorry, <laughs> I make that mistake a lot. Oh yeah. This is the magic moment. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to collect some moss. Uh, oh, look at this. That's good stuff. Uh, yeah. Let me take a peek around the band. Because the less visible I am, the less chance I get. I have getting caught, so. Oh, damn. Well. I'll have to take the risk. Or do I? Ah. It's like they want me to get caught. Damn. Well, let's hope that any ranger doesn't take his job too serious and sleeps in at Sunday morning. Okay. Okay. Let's hope the tripod will keep its end of the bargain. And the camera is a bit of a lookout because, well, yeah, here we go. Just a little bit. This is old. This will grow. Uh, moss doesn't have a root system, so at least this moss doesn't have.
put it back and that will root again. Uh, a little bit from here. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> that's on camera, damn. Uh, that's the, the people's exhibit A. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna fill up the bag and a little piece, a little bit further up. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of this patch, maybe a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. Yeah, you can see that it's discolorated, so this is trampled on by animals. Oh, there's a mouse hole. Uh, no, this patch. That's full of sticks, but that's for later. That's not as thick as I thought. Uh, oh, yeah. Just push it back. Oh. Okay. And that's enough, more than enough. Always cover your tracks. Don't leave any evidence. Uh, oh, there we go. And no one will ever know. Okay, back to the bike. And maybe spot some new mushrooms on the way. Yeah, no mushrooms, and I was going for moss, and that I have. It's just nine o'clock, and it's already crowded, so I'm going home. Yeah, find peace and quiet in my own house. It's insane. I was looking for a, a tiny mushroom, but it's, yeah... I'm looking for it here because I know it grows here, but not sure if it's the right time yet, but <laughs> well, I know a few other places, but this is it for now, just a short moss hole video, and I'll see you when I apply it, later. Yeah, a little bit on the end, and yeah, I'm out of bad words, so... <sighs> this is uh, an announcement that there will be a seismic survey in this area. This area. And it's in cooperation with uh, these people. These, uh, yeah, they, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's their forest. But it 
explains what seismic survey is and uh, will we be bothered by it and does it have any effect on nature but what they forget to mention is that it's for looking for natural gas yeah well if they're going to drill here here I will go all Steven Seagal on the ass, yes. Yeah, hold it in, hold it in. Just hold it in. Swallow it and bury it as deep as possible. Later. Okay, this is the last mushroom of the day least for today I'm almost home and again this is growing next to the motorway um, this is a rather special mushroom this is the the ochre mushroom and it only stays yellow for a few hours after it opens It has a beautiful bright yellow color and that fades after a few hours and then they look well just like any other mushroom these are not very common and this one is really early because I usually find them after the first frost period they need cold okay I'm sitting here like an idiot so Later. Okay, let's see what I've got. Yeah, uh, it's about. Uh, yeah, what's it about? 20, 30 liters, I think. And it's full of goodies and beasties. A spider, pine cones. Well, we can roast these on an open fire. Even more pine cones. Well, that's to be expected from the moss from the woods. <laughs> it's full of these. Well, that cat can play with it. I let this dry out until it's completely dry and then I saw it. Oh yeah. Oh this is good stuff, really. And this, this is the bottom part. And well, this is usually what you're left with, but it's perfectly good stuff for uh, potting to use in, in pots with a little bit of bark for the, yeah, the seedlings and stuff. Yeah, I let this dry as mats and I turn it around a few times and when it's dry, I just stack it up and put it away. And that's the last bit. Now let's see what little fat kitty has to see about this because she never seen this and except yes, especially lately, just about anything freaks her out. I have no idea why. I think Pip has something to do with it, but I can't prove it. Well, uh, let it dry. I'm not going to mess around with this because that will take forever to get out. It dries with the moss and when I need it, I can peel it out. So, the moss hole. 
That's quite a bit. Well, I've had more, so... Okay, guys. Later.